kind of summarize your feelings with, with spring practice, Andy? What, what do you think the defense was able to get done? Oh, uh, we got a lot better. Got a, the communication and just a relationship with each other is way better. So I think we, defense had a good overall swing. Where do you feel like you saw DK make kind of the most strides uh, alongside you this spring? Uh, he just stepped up to his role. He knew what he got to do, and he had a great spring, probably the best on defense. Even though you obviously it's a big loss with Martin going to the NFL, but when you look at the depth chart and the guys that have made plays this spring, it seems like you guys have been able to build some pretty good depth at corner. Oh, yeah, we got some players at corner that knows how to do, play the defense and know what to do and what to do and how to do it. So, yeah. I mentioned this to somebody earlier. I know you never like to see guys hurt or coming off off-season surgeries, but how much confidence does it give the defense knowing you guys had several starters that were out that will be back in the mix in training camp? Uh, our D-line will look really good when we get those guys back, and it just helps the secondary out when they can rush and we play good defense. So. Good. Obviously, through you know, ever since Coach Leach came in here, you know, you guys have had COVID that's kind of been around and kind of limited the springs, especially that first year. I guess, how beneficial do you think it is that you guys have had this entire spring under under to, to kind of you know develop as players? Uh, we just been around each other every day, building relationship. That helps us out a lot. And then during the COVID year, we couldn't be around each other as much and like just build it. So we're just going off of what we got during fall camp that year. So it's better this year. How about overall as a team? How do you think the team has come together this spring? Oh yeah, we got a lot of leaders that lead the old or the younger guys and the newcomers. So that making us better overall. I know football practice, you're gonna have scuffles and guys are gonna tie mm -hmm. up, but. Seems like it was a little bit more intense this spring with a lot of guys tied up. Would you say it was more intense this spring? Uh, in, a, in a heat, guys compete, so it's going to happen. What do you think that when you look towards training camp, what, what are some things that defense has to get better at? Uh, we just got to get better at overall running to the ball, just playing together and not trying to make a play and just let the play like happen. I was saying on the offensive side of the ball, they're losing Makai. I mean, who have you kind of seen on that outside receiver group that's kind of been, you know, difficult to match up with this spring? Uh, it's a couple of them that came along. Uh, Doug, Ra Ra, J Ra, and like the rest of the guys, they came along real, real, and they got better at spring progress. Justin really came on strong the last couple of weeks. You think that kind of just took him a little bit to get acclimated with everything? Oh, yeah. It, during this offense, you got to. B, you got to know what the defense is in, so it's a learning process. He's still learning, but he he just came a long way. He's ahead of his time. I guess how would you kind of assess, you know, your spring and the stride you got, you guys were able to make as a defensive unit? Uh, I say we um, we uh, still got a lot of stuff to improve on, work on, but most of it, most of it, I think we got a lot of guys coming back that know the defense, and we got young guys stepping up into big roles, so I think we'll be pretty good. Okay, but is it? For y'all's linebackers group to have guys like you and uh, Chad and Hayes that can play different positions. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's a lot, you know, because um, um, we're having like multiple people knowing how to play in different positions, and then one person go down, we can just bump another person over, and the other person step up. To, it's just a lot for us. Is there some, uh, some of the younger linebackers that caught your attention this year? I say I, probably all of them. Nick Mitchell, probably the main one. Him and JP caught my eye a lot. They uh, got a nice feel for the, putting their head on the ball, and that's, that's all I like. So. You guys kind of had that last season, you know, when Aaron was here, the, the four guys who kind of come into the three linebacker spots. I mean, how beneficial is it even when you guys are all healthy to, to kind of have a guy who can sub in, give you a breather when you need it? Oh, uh, that, that's nice having, like, having everybody that, like, know every position and being able to, and we healthy, so having people come in and be fresh, it means a lot. Uh, so, yeah. What did you see on the other side of the ball from the offensive line? I know they got some places, some people to replace their tackle, but what did you see from that group? Uh, they got some nice, this is a nice old lineman over there. You just got to keep on building. We got to make them better over there so we can have a good season. So. I guess when you kind of reflect on, on this spring, what do you feel like you were kind of able to improve on the most and, and get some more reps under your belt? Uh, like you said, probably just reps, consistency. Um, and then just chemistry with new receivers. I mean, we have some new faces on the outside. And I mean, last time I talked to you guys, it was early in the spring. So we've definitely got a lot more reps in since then. Uh, but yeah, no, we've made strides throughout the spring. We've definitely gotten better, but um, still a lot more work to do. So. Seems like Justin Robinson was one of those guys, that receiver that kind of got better as the spring went on. I mean, how much of that was just him kind of getting acclimated to this offense? Yeah, I know. He, he definitely just, like I said, he needed reps at first. And then once he kind of got in, learned the system, and 
Um, got some reps under his belt. He did really well, so um, I'm excited to work with him this summer and uh, you know get ready for the for ready for the season. We have obviously uh, a Kyle leaves a lot of production. Mm -hmm. in the end. Yeah, definitely deeper. You know, there's more guys that can play. I mean, obviously, uh, Jameer had a really good spring, and then Rufus Harvey's come a long way. So he's definitely going to be getting a lot of snaps come the fall. And, um, you know, like you said, we're really deep, uh, especially in the inside room. But, um, you know, we just got to find some find some guys and make some plays. And, uh, you know, that's one thing we got to keep on working towards this summer. It seemed like Ra Ra is taking a step forward this spring too, just coming in as a true freshman last year and kind of getting his feet wet. Do you see a difference from year one to year two with him? Yeah, I know. I mean, it's kind of kind of the same answer with everybody. You know, I mean, they definitely made strides. You know, we've definitely made strides. Um, I think everybody in the receiver room has made strides, but uh, I think it's just the fact that we just need more reps, got to get better. And the jump that we made from last year to spring, we need to make the same jump from spring to next year, if that would, makes sense. What did you see from Sawyer? He's done a really good job. Like I said, like uh, last time I talked to you guys, he's done a really good job. He's worked really hard. Uh, he's learned the system. Um, so yeah, excited for his future. No, we don't obviously get to be around you guys all the time in practice and, and see you inside the locker room. But just from the outside looking in, it seemed like you guys were joking around with Mike Leach a lot more this spring. Yeah. And having more fun. Is yeah. That is that just something that comes with time, feeling more comfortable around here? Because y'all joked around when they were a good bit. Oh, uh, probably. And then, I mean, at the same time, that's just kind of how the team is this year. I mean, every team is different. Uh, I guess this team is really close together, really close to coach. Um, so, yeah, you know, we say family all the time around here, and I think we really mean it with this group. Obviously, when Mike came in here, kind of COVID happened right away. They didn't really get a spring. I guess mm -hmm. just, you know, when you look back at that, I guess how important is it for you guys that you've had two springs now where you kind of really learned this offense and the system that, that this coach staff is trying to bring in? I mean, it's huge. You know, I mean, you could see the jump from spring ball last year to the season. Uh, and, you know, I'm hoping that we make the same jump this year because we're, we're that much better this spring. So I hope we can really make a jump in the fall. Uh, but, you know, that starts with this summer in the weight room, hard work, uh, seven on seven and things like that. Because, uh, you know, next time we're out here in the pads, it's kind of for real. So, What's on your to-do list between now and training? Uh, I'm going to take, take probably a week off, honestly. I'm going to take a week off, maybe hang out with my family, just uh, do some things with them, and then I'll start training. Um, I'm going to go see David Morris in Mobile, uh, train with him for a couple couple days. and. Uh, you know, I'll see Jonathan Mingo and guys like that back home. So I'll get to get to throw some routes with some routes with the bad guys for a couple of days. You get to go to the uh, Manning Academy again. How cool is that? Yeah, that's that's, a, that's pretty cool. I think that's in June, June, late June. So uh, get to do that, get to experience that with some really good guys and some great quarterbacks around the country. So looking forward to it. Last time you talked to us, you were talking about how you kind of you you could tell that you were more of a veteran. You kind of had that experience. I guess just how much does it add to your confidence knowing? You've seen, you know, a lot of snaps, seen a lot of pass coverages and yeah. stuff like that from various defenses. No, I've definitely seen a lot and uh, been through a lot, <laughs> uh, even with what just, I don't know, 15-something starts in the SEC. I don't know what it is, but uh, I've definitely seen a lot and been through a lot. And, uh, you know, I've seen the best. And, uh, you know, I think that's just going to give me confidence going into this year that, I mean, I've, I've played against Alabama. I've played against Georgia. You know, like I've, I'm not saying like I'm going to, <laughs> gonna do great against those guys or anything like that but you know I've been there done that so I mean uh, you know I look forward to the challenge of uh, playing in the SEC West obviously we have a really tough schedule we just have to take it one game at a time um, but, you know I look forward to the challenge and um, feeling pretty pretty confident about the season obviously with the yeah, no, I was excited for my brother. He committed to committed to uh, Southern Mississippi. Um, yeah, I'm personally a fan of Will Hall. I think he does a really great job. Um, I've known him for a really long time. But yeah, no, I'm proud for my brother. You know, really excited. Obviously, with the numbers you put up last season, you know, your name starts coming up in some of those national conversations. I guess how do you kind of handle the, the external expectations that, that come on you now? You know, being the guy who's, who's leading this offense for a third year. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there is an expectation that this is my going into my second and a half, third year starting or whatever. But um, yeah, no, the pressure can build up sometimes, but I try not to just hear the outside noise or anything like that. Coach Leach says all the time to ignore the noise. Um, and, you know, that's going to be my goal for this season is probably just to, you know, kind of shut off social media because 
I mean, I don't want to see the good, the bad. I don't want to see any of it. You know, I'm just kind of locked in one week at a time. And I think my job as a quarterback is not to throw for 500 yards or anything like that. My job is to win the game. So if I throw for five or 500, you know, and we win the game, I've done my job. So, uh, you know, that's my goal for the season, just to kind of lock in on this, lock in on this team and, um, you know, get as many wins as we can. I think everybody took a big step and just knowing how to get downhill, keep your pads low. So it was a big step for us. I know injuries limited them, but how much can this, obviously, the depth situation be helped when Bull Hargrove and Sammy Price are going to I think both of them. When Bull, Bull was healthy, he was pretty good. Sammy, he when he running around, he looked amazing, even though he coming out the injury with the knee brace. I think he looked amazing, though. So, yeah. Both of them in good hands. What's on your to-do list between now and training camp? Uh, just stay consistent. Um, pass locking, getting out here, catching the ball, just being a great leader. Anything that caught your attention about the offense as far as improvements and what, what has to get done? Uh, what caught my attention is really like everybody just playing together, O-line playing together, and knowing when to do everything right, what Coach Miller tells them to do. So that was, I think that's really the biggest thing that happened in the spring, the O-line. Yes, how much does it help your confidence going into the season, having you know the experience that you do under your belt now? I think I think it helped me a lot, um, just knowing that everybody gonna play buy in, and like just for me with the O-line, knowing knowing they know their stuff. It made my, my job easy to just get down here and keep my pass low and rewarding them guys. You you enrolled here early, and I know that first spring got canceled because of COVID, but is it kind of hard to believe you're going into your junior season? Yeah, it came up fast. It came up, like, fast. What comes along with that? I know Coach Washington's talked about he needs leadership from you guys. What comes along with it? It's just like, like the new guys coming in, they'll ask me some. They probably like don't get nothing in film. We sit down at film, we talk about stuff. Like they'll come up and ask me. So really, like, I gotta know a lot of my stuff by being older here. Gotta know a lot of my stuff. And shoot, Dylan asked me some stuff. JJ asked me some stuff. Like what did he see? I ask them. Like the younger guys. I, while I'm on the field, tell me what I need to work on and everything. Like to boost my game up. So it all tie in together. What growth did you see from the quarterbacks Will and Sawyer this spring? Uh, just going through their reads, um, just getting out. If they need to escape the pocket, just getting out the pocket and finding somebody and getting down the field. And that comes along with the drill we do, scramble drill. You got to get out the pocket. Yes. Running backs being so involved in the passing game, what, what's it like to have a veteran like Will who's been there about as long as you guys? <laughs> uh, just knowing that like he going to know where we at on the field. And like every time, like, we, we gotta, he got a key to get, get us the ball. We're saying, you know, you guys got any experience in offensive tackle, and, and obviously those guys are hopefully, you know, continue to grow. But I don't want to say pressure, but I'm more, more important is it for you, for you and Dylan and JJ and others to play to, to pick up your block packages too? Uh, it's, it's important to pick up a block because you don't want your man to come in and make the sack. You miss your block to make the sack, so it's picking up the block. But the left tackle, I think the left tackle is solid. Uh, really not no downgrade from that. Whenever, if somebody messes up at left tackle, it's just a spring. So it's all just practice right now. But I think I think left tackle has been doing good. Really the whole line has been doing good. One guy stick out to me is um, Q. That's, that's like the leader of the old line right now. So that'll be, that's the guy right there. How excited were you when you heard that you know he'd be coming back for another season? Well, I was super excited just knowing that I got a great center coming back. We're going to block his tail off and work hard every day. You mentioned Dylan earlier, I guess. Just how big is it to, to have him kind of by your side throughout these past few years as you guys have both kind of tried to learn the offense? Uh, just knowing I got a back who's going to spit time with me and like who's going to work with me, work beside me, and we both going to celebrate each other. Yeah.